we have an algebraic expression where these are the terms of the expression. Now, if you look at these terms, we see that each of the terms have some factors. For example, the first term has three factors, 2, x and y. The second term has four factors, 5, x, x and y. Similarly, the third term has three factors, 3, y and x. Now, we are trying to find which of these terms are like and which of these terms are unlike. So, when we say like terms, we are basically trying to find the terms which are in some way alike or similar to each other. Now, how do we decide that? Let us just write down all the terms along with their factors again. Now, let us have a close look at the factors, especially the algebraic factors. When I say algebraic factors, I am referring to the letters, that is the variables in the terms. So, our very first step is to ignore the coefficient and focus on the algebraic part of the term. Then we will check if the variables in the terms are same. For example, the first term here has two variables x and y. The second term also has two variables x and y. Similarly, the third term also has two variables x and y. So, the variables are same in all the terms. But the fourth step is very crucial. We need to check if the powers of each variable in the terms are same. So, let us go to the first term. Over here, x has a power of 1 and y has a power of 1. In the second term, which is 5x square y, x has a power of 2 and y has a power of 1. And in the third term, x has a power of 1 and y has a power of 1. So, we notice that the first and the third term are like terms because they have same variables with same powers. Whereas this first and the second terms, these are unlike terms. Similarly, the second and the third term are also unlike terms. Now, we have some important pointers which we need to look for. While looking for like terms, two things do not matter. The first thing is the numerical coefficient of the term. For example, minus 2xy and 5xy, these are like terms. We will completely ignore the numerical coefficient. It could be a negative number or a fraction, anything. The second thing is, the order in which the variables are multiplied. For example, 2xyz, 9zxy and 3yxz. These are like terms. Now the question is, why do we need to check for like and unlike terms? So basically, the operations of addition and subtraction are possible only on like terms. We cannot simplify the unlike terms and therefore we collect the like terms together and perform operations on them. Let us now look at some questions. Check if the following pairs have like or unlike terms. So, we will look at the first part. We know that now that we will ignore the coefficient. So, over here we have one variable which is y and over here also we have one variable which is y. And y has a power of 1 in both the cases. So, these are like terms. Let us look at the second part. In this case, we have two variables a and b and here we have two variables b and a we know that the order of multiplication does not matter. So, we have same variables with same powers. So, this is also case of like terms. Okay, let's go to the third part. The variables here are P and M and here we have M and P. Okay, so although the variables are same, let us look at the powers. P has a power of 2, M has a power of 1. But over here, M has a power of 2 and P has a power of 1. So, the variables are same but the powers are not same. So, this is a case of unlike terms. Let's look at the last part. 3z, the variable here is z which has a power of 1 and this is minus 4. It has no variable. It is a constant. So, again these are unlike terms.